Imagine this. You're walking down a quiet street. The air feels different tonight. There's something strange about how the light hits the pavement. Something fragile about the way sound moves. Then, for just a fraction of a second, everything shifts. The world flickers, like an old film reel burning through its frame. The shadows stretch. The air hums. And in that flicker you see someone standing across the road. Someone familiar. Someone that makes your breath stop. It's you. Not a reflection. Not a hallucination. But another you. Same eyes. Same heartbeat. Yet, something's different. Maybe they're wearing what you almost chose this morning. Maybe they look happier. Maybe they look broken. You don't know which is worse. But in that single heartbeat, one thought slams into your mind. What if reality isn't just one world? What if every decision, every possibility, every version of you exists somewhere else? The idea of parallel worlds isn't just a fantasy from comic books or science fiction anymore. It's a haunting mirror of our deepest what-ifs. The reflection of every path we didn't take. In one world, you're sitting right here, watching this story unfold. In another, you never found it. In another still you don't even exist. For thousands of years, humans have whispered about the possibility of other worlds. Philosophers called it the plurality of existence. Poets dreamed of infinite mirrors of the soul. And then, scientists came along and started finding clues that maybe, just maybe, those whispers were right. Because the deeper they looked into the laws that govern our universe, the more it seemed that reality itself might not be as solid as we once thought. That underneath everything we call real, there may be something much stranger and infinite web of possibilities unfolding all at once. It started in the 20th century, when physicists began exploring the very edge of the invisible the quantum world. There, nothing behaves like it should. Particles appear and disappear, exist in two places at once, and seem to know when they're being watched. They live in what scientists call superposition a state, where multiple realities exist simultaneously. An electron, for example, isn't here or there, it's both, until someone looks, and when someone does, when we observe, Ita chooses one reality to show us. But what happens to the other possibilities? Where do they go? Hugh Everett, a young physicist in 1957, asked a question that would change everything. What if those other possibilities don't vanish? What if the universe doesn't collapse into one version of events? What if, instead, it splits each possibility, unfolding into its own reality? Every coin toss, every quantum event, every choice creating a new universe. His idea became known as the many worlds interpretation, and it shattered the way we think about existence. Think about it for a moment. Every time you make a choice, say yes or say no, stay or leave love or walk away, you're creating two paths, two timelines, two universes. In one, you go left. In another, right. In one, you become who you are now. In another, Maybe you're someone completely different. Every heartbeat, every decision, rippling across eternity, creating endless branches of reality. It's dizzying to imagine a cosmic tree of existence, where every branch is another version of your life, your choices, your destiny. Somewhere, there's a version of you who chased the dream, you let go, and somewhere else, one who never made it past that heartbreak. The multiverse, then, isn't just about physics. It's about meaning. It's a reminder that every moment carries infinite weight, infinite consequence. In the strange world of quantum physics, everything depends on observation. But what does that mean? Doth reality need us to look at it for it to exist? One of the most famous experiments in science da. Double slit experiment revealed something baffling. When tiny particles aren't being observed, they behave like waves, existing in multiple places at once. But when we look, they suddenly choose a location. It's as if reality waits for us to pay attention before it decides what to be. Some scientists thought that meant consciousness creates reality. Everett disagreed. He said the opposite that all outcomes are real, but we can only ever experience one at a time. Every possibility unfolds, but our awareness rides only one wave. Somewhere, in another version of the experiment, the particle landed somewhere else. Somewhere, another you blinked. At the exact same moment and saw a different result. Schrodinger's cat is the perfect way to picture this. A cat is sealed in a box with a random quantum event that could kill it or not. Until the box is opened, the cat is both alive and dead. Everett's theory says that when you open the box, the universe splits one where the cat lives and one where it doesn't. Both are real. But continue you just experience one. Reality itself, dividing like reflections in shattered glass. 
It's unsettling to think that the universe might be branching constantly, quietly, endlessly all, because of simple, everyday moments. Every sunrise, every sigh, every blink splitting, spreading, multiplying. Reality not as a single story, but a library of infinite versions, each one real in its own way. And sometimes, it feels like we see those other versions. Ever heard of the Mandela Effect? Thousands of people remembering the same events, quotes, or facts but remembering them wrong. Except, they all remember the same wrong version. People remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s, even though he didn't. They remember movie lines that never existed, brand logos that never looked that way. Psychologists call it false memory. But believers in the multiverse think it's something more a glitz in reality, a crossfade between universes. Like two versions of the world brushing against each other for just a moment. A faint echo of an existence we don't belong to. Maybe those people aren't mistaken. Maybe they just came from somewhere else. And that raises a haunting question. What if you could cross over? What if you could meet another version of yourself? Would they recognize you instantly? Like looking in a mirror of your soul? Or would they feel utterly alien? A reminder that even the smallest choices can completely rewrite who we become. Would you envy them? Fear them? Or would you ask them what they did differently? Because if infinite versions of you exist, then somewhere, there's one who never made that mistake. One who said the words you couldn't. One who didn't lose what you did. And maybe, somewhere out there, another version of you is wondering about youth, same way you're wondering about them. Modern physics has taken the idea even further. String theory suggests that our universe isn't the only one, just one vibration among countless hidden dimensions. Imagine space-time not as a flat surface, but as a multi-layered fabric, each layer humming with its own energy. Some scientists believe that if these dimensions exist, they could contain entire universes each governed by its own laws of physics. Then came cosmic inflation theory, proposing that right after the Big Bang, the universe expanded faster than light and might still be expanding, constantly creating new universes like bubbles in an endless cosmic ocean. Some are vast and star-filled, others dark and lifeless. And maybe, somewhere, one bubble looks exactly like ours down to the smallest detail. The same sky, the same cities, the same heartbeat inside your chest. Picture two mirrors facing each other reflections, stretching endlessly, each slightly different. That's how some physicists describe the multiverse. Every universe reflecting another, some almost identical, others unimaginable. Maybe in one, gravity is weaker and stars never form. In another, Earth never existed. In another still, the dinosaurs never went extinct. An intelligent life wears scales instead of skin. But perhaps just one layer away another, you walks the same path, breathes the same air, and wonders the same thing you do. What else is out there? Infinity is a heavy thing to hold. If everything that can happen does happen somewhere, then every joy, every tragedy, every version of your life exists right now. Some find that comforting the idea that nothing is truly lost. Others find it unbearable the thought that suffering and loss repeat forever in infinite forms. And yet, maybe the question isn't about which version of you matters most. But why you're aware of this one? Maybe meaning isn't found in being unique, but in being present. In understanding that among infinite worlds, this is the one where you feel, where you choose, where you live. Scientists like Stephen Hawking once suggested that the multiverse might be real but unreachable. Brian Greene compared it to pages in a cosmic book, each page its own universe, but we can only ever read one. Roger Penrose wasn't convinced at all, and maybe that's the point science hasn't proven it, but it has made us dream. Because even without evidence, the multiverse lives on in human imagination, in stories like Interstellar, Everything Everywhere All at Once, or Doctor Strange, tales of love, loss, and redemption echoing through infinite worlds, reminding us that maybe what we call fiction is just our way of remembering something our souls already know. Think of every choice you've ever made, the jobs you took, the people you loved, the ones you hurt, the dreams you let fade. Each decision built this version of you. Maybe somewhere else, you're happier. Maybe somewhere, you never made it this far. But that doesn't make this you meaningless. It makes you miraculous. Because out of infinite versions of existence, this is the one you're living. This moment is the one you're feeling. And that makes it sacred. The smallest gestures, the ones no one notices, might ripple across countless universes, carrying echoes of your kindness, your courage, your hope. We may never see another universe. We may never meet our other selves. But the idea that they exist, that there is more to reality, 
then what we can see reminds us that the universe, ISNT, is vast, it's intimate. Every breath, every thought, every love story might echo across dimensions, reflected endlessly in the infinite mirror of existence. And in that infinity, our smallness docente diminish us, it magnifies our meaning. Because if everything that can happen does happen, then every moment of compassion, every act of love, every spark of beauty you create, ripples forever. So tonight, when you look up at the stars, remember, each one could be a window to another world, a world where everything you could have been and everything you still might become already lives and breathes. But this one, this fragile, fleeting, luminous world is the only one where you are aware of being you. And maybe that's what makes it special not because it's perfect, but because it's yours. So take a breath, feel the gravity beneath your feet, the pulse in your veins. You are here, you exist in this universe. And that, out of infinite possibilities, is the rarest miracle of all. Because somewhere, in another world, another version of you might be wondering the same thing, whether this one is real. And maybe that's all the proof we'll ever need that the multiverse truly exists.